Hello everyone, welcome to another video. If you'd like any of the recipes of the food that is featured in this video, check out the video I made yesterday and you can see how I cooked it all. But for now, enjoy the discussion. What I want to discuss with you guys is why I've been having a little bit of self-care. I thought I'd use this opportunity now in between planning tours and stuff to just do some work on myself. Everyone knows that I've had a very harsh past. Gangs, violence and drugs. I'm very open about that. I don't care what anyone says about that. I'm very comfortable where I'm at now. I have um, progressed so far. I've come so far, like if you've seen me before, different Joey. So there's some clowns out there, mm, excuse me, who say, Joey, you're mentally ill because of your veganism. I'm mentally ill because of veganism. Veganism is a moral principle against the exploitation of animals, okay? Against the unjustified harm and use of animals and animal products, treating animals like resources when we don't need to. How do I derive mental illness out of that? My brain is not deteriorating. Where's your evidence of that? I'm not deteriorating. Where's the evidence of that? My mental health has gotten magnitudes better than where it was. Magnitudes better. I made a post here. Has your mental health has your mental health improved or deteriorated since being vegan? <clears throat> I said mine has improved massively. Now, is that because of the veganism? I think it could have something to do with not putting suffering and violence and flesh and animal product in, into my body. Now I eat plant foods and fruits and vegetables, and I feel much better within myself, and I have a sense of purpose now. But what can cause vegans some mental health issues? Okay, I'll give you this. It is witnessing the pure magnitude of the suffering and cruelty that happens to animals on a daily basis and the cold-hearted people who turn their backs to it and do nothing but criticise vegans for speaking up about it. So that could cause some mental, mental um, sort of problems and some anxiety and some depression in vegans. I've got people saying, massively improved. Mine did not improve, not because of the diet, but because of facing all the suffering. Definitely improved, it gives you a greater sense of purpose. Improved at first, and then deteriorated after seeing probably the animal suffering. Everything has improved since going vegan. Physical, psychological, emotional, and spiritual. Some people are exactly the same. So they had mental health issues before, okay, like I did. And now they're vegan, and they've still got them. So is there a correlation between being vegan and having mental health issues? Where's your evidence? Absolute nonsense. If you go through these comments on this post, many people's mental health has improved and some hasn't. Some has gotten worse after seeing what happens to animals, PTSD and things like that. There's something called witness trauma where you witness what happens to animals and it makes you upset. Vicarious trauma. But for me, um, I've had breakthroughs in therapy. Breakthroughs. I'm feeling so much better than I, than I used to. I've got to the bottom of a lot of my things that actually led me into addiction when I was 14, led me into all of my drug use, 14, 15. I was a meat eater then. He's saying that, that, me, that my mental illness back then, my addiction back then was because of my meat eating? I wouldn't even say anything so stupid. I, I don't know where people get these nonsense ideas from. Like, are you saying that every meat eater that's got mental illness right now in hospital has mental illness because they eat meat? That's, I would never even say that. That's insensitive and just immature. And people will use any excuse any excuse. Oh, Joey's got uh, PTSD. It's because he's vegan. You know that sounds like a, a small child with no idea. My addiction stemmed from things that happened in my childhood that I had no control over. My way of dealing with that was to lead into a, um, to drugs, and then lead into gangs, and then led into the violence, and then led me to prison. Now, I spent a week in a mental health ward. Was I vegan then? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I wasn't vegan. I had no sense of purpose and I was a violent drug addict. I have not committed an act of violence since I've been vegan. Okay? Not committed an act of violence since, against a human since I've been vegan. Which is huge. Absolutely huge. I've gotten magnitudes better. Anyone who says, you've got mental illness because you're vegan is just silly. Because uh, uh, every mass murderer that's not vegan... What about all the rapists that aren't vegan? Is that because they eat meat? They're a rapist? Is that because they eat meat that they've got psychological issues, schizophrenia? My, my mental health issues were drug-induced, most of them. And the other ones, 
uh, were stemmed back from my childhood. And the other ones were from being in such a violent environment for so long. My mental health issues have gotten so much better. I feel like a new person. Look at those pancakes. This break that I've taken, one of the best things I've done. I feel so enlightened and I've been meditating so much. And I want to remind people if they do have mental health issues to reach out for help, okay? It's nothing to do with veganism. Veganism's so healthy. I mean, there, there was even a study. I think Dr. Gregor had it on his channel. We'll see if we can flash it up here. Can an anti-inflammatory diet help prevent depression? We didn't know until about 43,000 women without depression were followed along with their diets for about a dozen years to see who became depressed. And it was those who ate a more inflammatory diet pattern, characterized by more soda, refined grains, and meat, suggesting that chronic inflammation may underlie the association between diet and depression. The most anti-inflammatory diet is plant-based. Uh, which can cut C-reactive protein levels by 30% within two weeks. People who go, you got mental health issues because you're vegan. It's absolute nonsense, unless it's because of the vicarious trauma vegans um, are victims uh, to because of witnessing what animals go through, then I understand that. Some things can be do, due to being isolated from the crowd with tribal animals, but... If you've got a good sense of community around you and you're eating lots of healthy whole foods, lots of flax, I'm going to have an oatmeal later with some flaxseed on there. Just a really good wholesome diet, sunshine, rest, water, all of those things in harmony, spiritual health. You're going to be fine. I find it so hilarious that people will use anything to, to try to criticize the philosophy of veganism. And they, they think veganism is a diet, which is ridiculous. So my mental health has gotten so much better. I'm going to finish these pancakes, but let me just give you a little money shot. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. Do you want these pancakes? See what, see what I mean? I'll just put you down there for a sec. So yeah, I'm feeling so much better. Some people aren't. Some people still have issues. They might have had pre-existing mental health issues. It's not because of veganism. That's ridiculous. Anyone who believes that nonsense without evidence, you're very easily fooled. If you're meat eating, you think veganism causes mental illness. Look around in your family. Look around at your friends. Have they got, has anyone got anxiety, depression, or some type of mental health issue that, that isn't vegan, okay? How did they get it if veganism causes mental health issues, huh? Or is it just a human issue? Is it just a society issue? It's got nothing to do with um, what philosophy you adhere to. If anything, more nutritious plant foods, waking up um, to what's going on to animals, having a purpose to help. Um, feeling part of a community, making change. These things are all fantastic for mental health. And that's coming from me, someone who was suicidal in the past. And now every single day I wake up with a sense of purpose. I've got so much more empathy and compassion towards human beings. Every day I'm striving to make a change. Before I was a relentless, um, violent um, drug addict. Okay, And now I'm a spiritual, empathic human being who wants to help animals who can't defend themselves. And... I have no, I don't have any anxiety. I, I rarely get it, okay? Rarely get depression. I sleep like a baby. I've just recently given up the, the coffees and stuff and I feel even better. I'm putting on muscle. I feel stronger than I've ever been. And yeah, still waiting for that protein deficiency. Still waiting for my brain to deteriorate. Still waiting. I'm going to be waiting forever. Yeah, so I just thought I'd continue the discussion out here. My, my camera went flat in there. I just got some oats with some flax in there. Omega-3s. Um, I put some PB2 in there, a bit of cinnamon and some maple syrup. Interesting how people try to use anything from your past against veganism as a whole. The vegan movement is a huge movement made up of millions of people by now, and mental, mental illness is systemic throughout society. To say there's some type of correlation between veganism and mental illness without evidence is just such a nonsense thing to say. If anything, there's a correlation between non-veganism and mental illness. Because people who eat meat, dairy, and eggs are paying for slaughterhouse workers to stab animals in the throat, shoot them in the skull, electrocute them, gas chamber them, clean up their feces in their guts and entrails. These human beings are brought up in a violent society that offers them jobs that cause PTSD. And now that is verifiable. You go look up the amount of PTSD systemic um, within slaughterhouse workers. I've been in slaughterhouses. And people say, what are you doing in slaughterhouses if you've got PTSD? I'm there to bear witness to the reality of animals. Animals have to go through that. Slaughterhouse workers have to go through that every single day to feed you. And you're saying that I'm mentally ill because I'm vegan? How ridiculous. 
I bear witness to the reality of animals because I'm strong enough to, and then I can describe what they're going through to other people to, to get to influence them to stop causing this. And when you talk about the mental illness that animals are subjected to, locked in a cage, factory farms, you know, the distress, pigs gnawing at the, the farrowing crates, squashing their young, having their calves taken from them in the dairy industry, maternal trauma day after day, year after year, and then the trauma of being in the waiting line of a slaughterhouse. Pigs can smell blood, um, just chicks just raised in hell. Imagine the pure suffering, mental trauma animals go through so you can eat them. Yeah, and some vegans, depression probably has got worse because they're faced with a harsh reality every single day and might feel helpless as to what's happening to animals. That's why I encourage people to be active, to speak, to do something, to feel like you're doing something to stop what happens to animals so that will help you falling into depression. Some people just generally have um, mental illness from their past, you know? And veganism isn't a magic bullet that's gonna solve all your problems, okay? It's a philosophy, it's a moral principle, it's a moral stance. It's like you have a moral stance against child abuse, whether you got mental illness or not, you don't abuse children because that's your ethical framework. That's the same with veganism. You don't um, partake in industries that enslave, exploit, and kill animals for an unjustifiable reason. I thought I'd just elaborate on that. Just going through my Facebook posts and uh, Instagram posts, and there's a lot of people that still are suffering with mental illness. There's a lot of people whose mental health has gotten better, including mine. My whole's better. Do people honestly think if I was the same person that I used to be, I'd be able to put up with what I put up with? I put up with so much. I see so much um, violence, and all I'm met with is cold-hearted, you know, criticism, and people mocking animal suffering, and criticizing my past. And I still push through it, you know? If you had met me seven years ago, I was a mess. You say one word to me, I would have flipped. Nowadays, I'm, I'm very chill, I'm very peaceful, I'm very compassionate. I'm solving a lot of the issues that happened to me through my gang life and through my childhood. And I've never felt better. I've never felt better. I feel really, really strong in my mind and in my heart. All those conspiracy theorists out there who, want, who are looking for something to serve their anti-vegan agenda, it's so obvious. It's so obvious. Try having real data. Try having like real evidence instead of just, you know, trying to grab anecdotes and go, oh, look, he's got PTSD from his past. Veganism must have caused it. It hasn't gotten better. Absolute nonsense. Okay, vegans are just human beings who have worked something out. We've worked out that, hey, if I can live a life that doesn't cause the maximum amount of slavery, harm, and murder to animals, why wouldn't I? Yeah, we're gonna cause some, some harm by existing. Yeah, crop deaths are a thing, okay? Yeah, that's a shame we, we, we even to eat plant foods, there's some, some harm that happens. Doesn't mean we have to cause the maximum suffering, slavery, you know, forcible breeding, stealing animals from their mothers and just torturing and killing trillions upon trillions of sea animals for a sandwich when you can cause less harm, many health benefits too. Let's talk about the mental health issues with people who are watching their father or their mother suffer from a heart disease or a heart attack in, in hospital because animal products are causing the number one killer, killer of human beings. Let's talk about that as well. The number one killer I'm not talking about mental illness, I'm talking about the number one killer of human beings. Heart disease, cholesterol, saturated fat, you know, building up in arteries and just knocking people off left, right and centre. Whole foods, plant-based diet, the only diet proven to reverse the number one killer in humans. The Esselstyn, uh, Codwell Esselstyn, check out uh, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease by Codwell Esselstyn. Amazing research they did. They talk about veganism and mental illness. It's crazy, you know. If anyone says that to you and you're a vegan just point out the absolute logical fallacy like point out the absolute contradictions in their logic how many meat eaters have mental illness how many meat eaters are child abusers or pedophiles or suffering from schizophrenia does that mean that meat eating caused their schizophrenia no and i wouldn't even suggest that it's insensitive and it's absolutely outrageous outrageous and whoever says that should be ashamed of themselves but do i think uh, people who are vegan should look after their health yeah of course sleep water lots of um whole plant foods make sure your carbohydrates are 
are high and you're exercising and you have a good social setting, supportive social setting. And if you need therapy, go get therapy. If you need temporary medication, do that, but don't, don't do that long term because it's very detrimental, I believe. But yeah, like lifestyle issues can sort out a lot of this stuff and, and, and really good therapy. Like leave your, your story down below. Has, have you noticed a change since you've been vegan and stopped consuming suffering and violence? Have you noticed a change in your mental health? I feel 10 times better. I mean, I've, I've had therapy for the last eight months and it's just been amazing to deal with a lot of the things that happened in my past. And you know, now I can move on and start spreading compassion and, and love for animals and, and just a more peaceful world. So as you can see here, there's 740 comments just on Instagram. I can't read them all. If you want to go over to my Instagram and see, there's not more people that have gotten worse in their mental health. There's actually pretty much, I would say close to 50-50. Um, people say that generally their body felt better, but, but because of the realization of what's happened to animals, that could have been made it worse. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people who are saying that it's, it's improved, it saved them. Um, it gave them a sense of purpose and many people who say that realizing how cruel human beings can be has just broken them um, So yeah, if you're saying people are mentally ill because they're vegan, that's a fallacy um, I think there's different factors towards uh, adhering to this moral principle that either empower you or they can drain you but that's not because of veganism itself that's because the world is a cruel place. Um, now, many people have mental illness that aren't vegan too, and the world is still a cruel place for them. So for me, it's improved massively. Um, how about you down below? So I just thought I'd leave some of the stories here at the end of this video you can read through, or you can go over to my Facebook and Instagram and read them through yourselves. Um, there's some really interesting ones here that I just thought I would flash up on the screen. And tell me your stories in the comments section down below. And if anyone needs support, please reach out for help if you need. Let's make my comment section one beautiful, supportive community that we can all be there for each other. Okay, I love you all. Peace.